What's up guys, welcome to another Best Mac Apps video. I do this every year, it's becoming a tradition here on the channel. Uh, you guys have been asking for an updated video for this year, so here it is, some of the best Mac apps that you can download for maybe your new Mac that you just got, or maybe your Mac that you've owned for a while, you're just looking for some cool new apps. If you have seen some of my Best Mac Apps videos in the previous years, you'll see some apps that are on this list that were on those lists as well, because these are still some of my favorite Mac apps. However, there are some new ones in here that I've discovered recently that are in here, so make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. Let's get started with 1Password. We'll go in alphabetical order, starting with the numbers. So 1Password, hey, this is a great app for all Mac users. It lets you remember all your passwords for all your devices with just 1Password. It is a paid app. It's like 35 bucks a year. So, But if you if you want that security and you, you deal with a lot of passwords for a lot of different websites, which most of us do, this is a um, invaluable app that you can get for your Mac. Next up is Alfred, the ultimate productivity tool for the Mac. Um, this has been on my list for years. I've used this since I got my first Mac back in 2009. Basically, it is productivity at your fingertips uh, right there as you see it on the screen. You can find apps and files with it, search the web, calculate all these different productivity tools. Quick Look is really cool. Um, all, the, all these different productivity tools built into one single app. Uh, and if you master Alfred, you will definitely increase your efficiency on your Mac by tenfold. So check out Alfred if you haven't downloaded it yet. Next up is Amphetamine. It's got a weird name, yes, but that is a scientific name, so let's all calm down. Uh, it basically keeps your Mac awake. You can set it to keep your Mac awake for just a specific amount of time uh, or indefinitely. So if you've ever had a problem with your Mac going to sleep while it's supposed to be doing something, maybe backing up or like me, uploading a YouTube video, definitely comes in handy. Check it out if you want to keep your Mac awake. Next up is App Cleaner. This has been on my list uh, for years as well. Uh, it basically uninstalls Mac apps the right proper way. Uh, it cleans the junk files and uh, the leftover files that are usually left over if you just uninstall the normal way that's built into the Mac by dragging the app to the, to the trash can. If you use App Cleaner instead of just doing that, it will find all the leftover junk files along with it to keep your Mac clean as you go throughout the years uninstalling all those apps. Next up is AstroPad. If you're a graphic designer and you own an iPad and the stylus, you definitely need to get AstroPad. You're missing out. Um, it's a fantastic tool for designing any type of design work, illustration work uh, on your Mac with your iPad. Uh, if you if you prefer drawing, I'm not a graphic designer, but this is a must-have app if you are and you own an iPad and one of those styluses. Next up is a very important app. If you're not backing up your data, you should stop what you're doing. Maybe stop watching this video and back up your data. In fact, you know, I'll leave a link to Backblaze. This is uh, the best backup solution for Mac users, in my opinion. Uh, it's easy to use. It's cheap. It's like five bucks a month for unlimited cloud backup. It's secure. You set it up. It's easy to use. It does it in the background. You set it and forget it. Don't have to worry about it. So if you're not the if the person who like tends to forget it to back up, you're not backing up at all. Check out Backblaze. It might save you uh, in a crisis uh, further down the road if. Your Mac hard drive crashes or gets stolen or something like that or goes up in a fire. Let's hope not. Let's, but you know, accidents, stuff like that happens. You want to make sure that you have all your uh, important data backed up, your photos, your music, all that stuff backed up securely off site. So, this is probably the best solution to do that. Backblaze. Next up is called Beamer. So, if you own an Apple TV or a Chromecast and you want to stream your local files to your TV, this is the app you want to do it with. So uh, normally, like I have a Chromecast and you can only stream stuff from Google Chrome browser. You can't really do local video files, but with this app, you can. So if you have movies or TV shows saved to your Mac hard drive locally, you can use this app to stream it to your Chromecast, which is pretty cool. Next up is Better Touch Tool. This is another productivity app. You'll see this trend throughout the video. I like productivity apps, so I will recommend a lot of those. But this is a good one if you have an Apple trackpad. So, of course, if you have a MacBook or MacBook Pro, you have one built in. But if you're using one for your Mac Mini or iMac, this is a great tool to set up like custom finger gestures uh, for your trackpad. So you can set it up to launch certain applications or do certain things, set up different types of rules. It's a very cool app to have. Uh, it is paid. It used to be free, but it is paid now, but it's worth it in my opinion. Uh, I have this installed on my Mac mini and my MacBook Pro and it works great. So check it out, Better Touch Tool. Next up is a little bit of a pricey app, but if you are a music lover or an audiophile, this is something you wanna check out. Um, it's not really for everybody, but like I said, if you love music or if you want that perfect audio for your Mac, check it out. It's called Boom 2. It's a uh, it's a Mac volume booster and equalizer uh, that you can set up and get like the best, most optimized audio out of your Mac. So all you music lovers out there who want some really crisp, high quality audio, 
you'll want to check this one out. Now we just talked about backing up with Backblaze. Now this is another backup app for your Mac. It's called Carbon Copy Cloner. It's not really a service like Backblaze is. This is just more of a, an app that you can use specifically to create bootable backups of your Mac. So if you want to have a bootable backup uh, of your Mac on site, this is the application that you want to do it with. So you can back up your Mac completely. To put, it gets a complete image of your Mac exactly, you know, bit by bit. And that way, if your Mac hard drive ever crashes, you have one to hook right up and you can boot right up to it. And it's just like nothing ever happened. So when disaster strikes, you kind of want to have a bootable backup for your Mac. And that's what you want Carbon Copy Cloner for. Next up is Cheat Sheet. Cheat Sheet sounds weird when I say it. Anyways, it's an app for your Mac that gives you access to the view the shortcut the keyboard shortcuts for whatever app you're using so uh, we all know that keyboard shortcuts are a lot faster than using the mouse and if you master the keyboard shortcuts for whatever application you're using say you're using Final Cut Pro and you want to know what keyboard shortcut does what this is a great little app to have that you can quickly look and see what keyboard shortcuts does what in whatever app you're using so cool app to use if you are want to master the keyboard shortcuts and master your efficiency on your Mac Next up is Clean My Mac 3. This is a Mac cleaning software uh, for maintenance and cleaning out just uh, your hard drive disk space. If you're if you're finding that your hard drive disk space is filling up quickly and you need some space freed up, this will uh, this is a great little neatly designed app that will scan your hard drive and um, basically clean and optimize your Mac of old data that you don't need or don't use. Uh, you specify and tell it to, to clean, and it does it for you uh, very simply. So check it out if you want to clean out your Mac. Next up is a clipboard management app. So if you are copying and pasting a lot of things and you want to access something that you copied like five copies ago, you want to check out Copy Clip and uh, master that clipboard management. It's a feature packed clipboard management tool. If you find yourself you know, wanting to copy a bunch of things and see what you copied and copy them multiple times after you've done it, this is something that you definitely want to have. Daisy Disk is next. This is a paid app, but it's a great way to uh, view what all is being stored on your Mac and how your Mac hard drive is being filled up and what type of files are on your Mac and, and just gives you a better view and a better understanding of what's on your disk and what's being stored on your disk if you want to clean it out. So it works uh, good uh, paired along with something like Clean My Mac. Uh, so if you want to have a nicely designed app to see what's on all your Mac, Mac hard drives, this is the way to go, Daisy Disk. Next up is Downy. This is a simple, clean app to download videos from the internet. So YouTube or Vimeo, uh, it actually works with like over a thousand different sites. So if you're always downloading videos from the internet and you want to do it in a simple, clean way, Downy is the app to have. Check it out. Next up is kind of a ubiquitous app by now. It's called Dropbox. You've probably heard of it. It's been on my list for years. I've used it for years. It's basically cloud storage for free. So I think everybody should have a Dropbox account and uh, it gives you two gigabytes of free storage online secure so you can store your files uh, on Dropbox and access them basically from any device. So if you don't already have that, I suggest everybody get one because it is free for the first two gigabytes. Next up is called Duet Display. And if you have an iPad and you want to make that iPad a second monitor for your Mac, um, you can use this app to do it with. It's not wireless. It does require the uh, lightning connector cable. However, if you want that extra space, sometimes it does come in handy. Uh, so check it out if you want to do that. It's called Duet Display. Duplicate File Finder is exactly what the name says it is. It finds duplicate files on your Mac so you can delete them easily and it's free. So um, if you want to clean up your hard drive space a little bit, if you think you have duplicate files, check this app out. Next up is one of my favorite all time apps, Evernote, and it lets you store your uh, notes or ideas or thoughts on a virtual notebook that you can access across multiple different devices. So it's in the cloud and it's accessible you know, 24 seven. It's great for capturing your ideas, writing down your thoughts, um, just keeping things that you wanna be able to search for fast and have instant access to. I pay for the premium plan and I'm absolutely satisfied with it. However, the free plan will work for most people. So check it out if you want that. Flux is an absolute must have for Mac users. No questions about it. If you wanna sleep better, get Flux. This is one of my all-time favorite apps as well. been using this for years. The screens that we see day, every day that we look at and stare at, they have these blue hueish tones to them. They're really bright and it's not good to look at those types of screens late at night, you know, before we go to bed. So whenever the sun is setting your screen, Flux will automatically slowly change your screen and dim it and make it a warmer tone so that you can actually sleep better and the, the blue, bright blue screens don't affect your sleep. So it 
it makes it warmer and better to look at and calmer and uh, as the night goes on it gets a little warmer so um, that is a great app to have if you are doing work late at night gimp is another all-time classic app it's a free open source software for mac windows and linux uh, it's basically like a free photoshop alternative so if you need an image editor with some powerful tools uh, that is free then check out gimp you probably heard them google um, they do some things around the internet anyways they give you free 15 gigabytes of storage online sort of like dropbox except you get more so <laughs> if you want more free cloud storage from google check out google drive if you have a google account just go to drive.google.com and sign up for google drive and you have free access to 15 gigabytes of online storage where you can store all your files and stuff like that so uh, i like to use google drive and dropbox side by side that way i have more cloud storage space if they're going to offer it it's free handbrake is another classic for the mac it's free sort of like gimp because it is free open source and works cross platform but it's a video converting app that lets you convert video files from different types of file types and codecs and stuff like that so uh, it's not completely 100% uh, intuitive, but if you are okay with going around and messing with that and really customizing your video conversions, check out Handbrake. This app is called Hazel and it is an automated organization app for your Mac. So uh, you can do cool things with this uh, as far as organization for your Mac. If you want to set up uh, a folder, you can actually monitor that folder and set up rules. So if something gets saved to that folder, the rule gets applied and it will do it will move it to another folder or name it or apply a different tag to it so if you are really like uh, OCD with your Mac storage and organization you definitely want to check out hazel because it will make your life a lot better helium is a really cool free app that you can use to keep something playing in the foreground on top of all the other apps while you're multitasking and flipping back and forth between different apps while you're working on a you know classroom assignment you're typing a document then you're switching back to to youtube and watching my videos you can always have you know your favorite television episode playing in the foreground on top of all the other apps all the app windows so keep it there in the corner and have it always playing always on top really cool app to have so if you ever want to do some video editing on your Mac and you don't have access to that free iMovie, it's like sometimes it costs like $14.99 in the App Store. If you don't want to pay for that, check out HitFilm Express. This is a free video editing software for Mac and Windows, um, and it is uh, pretty powerful, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So check it out if you want to edit some videos. Now, if you ever deal with like uploading images to a website, you want to have Image Optum, or even if you want to have just smaller, compressed, photos on your Mac. So if you're taking, if you've got a lot of photos that are taking up a lot of space and you just want more compressed uh, versions of those files or just smaller files in general to send to maybe upload to your website or send to people, Image Optum is uh, a good uh, application to have on your Mac. LibreOffice is my free office suite of choice. So if you don't want to pay for um, Office for Mac, you know, Microsoft Office, LibreOffice is what I use and I have installed on my Mac in case I have to open, you know, a Word document that somebody sends me or an Excel, uh, but it's free, it's open source, works great. Next up is Onyx. This is a good free system maintenance utility for your Mac. It's sort of like Clean My Mac 3 that we talked about earlier. However, it's less pretty, uh, but it is free. So it's good to try out if you want to have some type of system maintenance utility around for your Mac. Parallels is probably the best way to run Windows inside your Mac virtually. So if you have some type of a specific special program that's only available for Windows, you can install Parallels and install a virtual Windows computer on your Mac and then put that program on that virtual machine. It's like running a Windows computer on your Mac and you can switch back and forth between Mac and Windows. So if you've ever never used Parallels, it's really cool to have and convenient to have. Plex is one of my all time favorite Mac apps as well. It's a perfect media server solution for your Mac. So let's say you want to watch your videos on your TV, that you, the videos that you have saved on your Mac, you wanna watch them on your TV. Now we talked about the Beamer app, but what if you don't have Chromecast or an Apple TV? Well, if you have a smart TV, you may have seen that you have Plex, the Plex app available for it. So for example, I have a Samsung smart TV, I have a Plex app on that Samsung smart TV. And when I download Plex for my Mac, it basically let it sees all the video files that I have saved on my Mac on my movies folder. You can point it to a specific folder and it will gather information and, and turn itself into a, a media server to where I can go to my Samsung TV, pull up the Plex app and browse whatever video files, movies I have on my Mac and watch them directly from my TV. And you can do that uh, pretty much anywhere over the internet if I'm away from home and I have uh, access to the Plex app on my laptop, I can, as long as my, my, my Mac is on at home that, that I have Plex installed on, I can watch it. I can watch my movies that are on my Mac back at home, wherever I'm at. So it's really cool if you want to 
there it is. Enjoy your media on all your devices. I should have just said that. It's quicker. If you're wondering how I am recording this video, like I'm, my face is down here in the corner somewhere, I'm using ScreenFlow. It's the best screen recording sol solution for your Mac. Uh, it's a paid app. However, it's definitely worth it if you want to do some type of screen tutorial. Uh, obviously, I've got my use out of it because I've done a lot of these videos uh, and I've made my basically YouTube channel. I started it from just tutorial videos like this. So ScreenFlow is awesome. Smart Converter is similar to Handbrake. However, this is just a more simple solution. It's easier to use, more intuitive, uh, but it's a little more basic as well. So if you wanna quickly convert a uh, video file to another video file or a video file to an audio file, an MP3 file, this is just a quick way to convert files. Spectacle gives us a feature that should already be built in, built in on our Macs, but it's not, so we must use this application. And thank you to the creator of Spectacle for giving us this because this should already be built in. However, it's not. This just gives you a way to snap open windows to the right hand side, the left hand side, or full screen, just like Windows does, you know, built in. However, Mac doesn't have it. I don't know why, but Spectacle is something you want to have if you want to do that. This next app is uh, something that I probably shouldn't have to mention, but I will mention because it is one of my favorite Mac apps. Spotify, the best online music streaming solution, in my opinion. Um, I've been a Spotify premium user for years. I did a video, uh, Spotify versus Apple Music, that I'm going to update. I'm going to be releasing an updated video about that soon, so make sure you subscribe to check that out. Now, speaking of Spotify and Apple Music, this next app is right up your alley, because if you're thinking about switching from one service to the other, you want a way to take your playlist that you created with you. What if you have like 150,000 playlists that you created and you want to take with you, but it's keeping you back? Well, this is your answer, so you just download Stamp for your Mac and you can migrate your playlist to uh, another music service. If you're a coder or a programmer, Sublime Text is a great app to have. I'm not one myself, however, I do have to do some CSS and HTML work with some of my websites and this is always a lifesaver because it shows me the color, everything's color coded and it's easy to use and easy to, to, to um, manipulate the data inside of a long, long CSS file or a long HTML file. So great app to have if you're doing that type of stuff. TeamViewer is awesome if you ever want to remotely uh, control your Mac from wherever you are in the world. If you have TeamViewer installed on your Mac at home and it, the Mac is turned on, connected to the internet, you can go anywhere else in the world and install TeamViewer and remote back to your, your Mac here and basically see your desktop and have a remote desktop for your Mac. Time Machine Editor does just what the name says. It lets you, you know, change the default backup interval of Time Machine. So if you use the built-in Time Machine app to back up your Mac, you can use this to um, edit your uh, intervals. And so if you don't want to uh, have it to back up every hour and take up those resources and take up the speed and slow down your Mac while you're doing other stuff, you can use this to change that stuff and kind of customize it a little bit. It's really great to have if you use Time Machine. Transmission, of course, is my favorite BitTorrent client app for the Mac. A lot of people use uTorrent. However, you know, I've used Transmission ever since I've got a Mac uh, for years now. One of my all-time favorites. Um, I've never had a problem with it, and I've, so I've never had a reason to leave it. Uh, it's fast, easy, and free. So check it out if you need a BitTorrent client. Another all-time classic app is the Unarchiver. Uh, it's one of the apps that I first install on any new Mac. It lets you uh, unzip or unarchive a lot of zipped and archived files like .zip or uh, .rar. Just download and install the unarchiver and it basically runs the background, does it all for you. That way you never have to worry about not being able to unzip a file in the future. VLC Media Player is another classic. It's free uh, and it lets you basically play any type of media file, audio or video, and it's cross-platform, open source, uh, works great on Windows or Mac. So it's just my go-to for both operating systems and I've never had a reason to use other ones. So, cause I know there are other ones, but VLC is my choice and my favorite media player. VirtualBox is a free application that does what Parallels does, it lets you run uh, an operating system virtually on your Mac, uh, except it's open source and it's free. So if you uh, don't want to use Parallels, how you know Parallels is a paid app, but you know it is easier to use, it's better designed, you can have, it has more features. So I think it just works better. Uh, VirtualBox is open source and it's free, so you will have to go in there and you may have some things that you have to uh, mess with. However, it is it's it's great. It works for 99% of the things that you need to do for as far as virtual machines go. So if you need to run uh, Windows on your Mac, check out VirtualBox. So there you have it. Those are the best Mac apps for 2017. Make sure you check out the links in the description below to all those apps that I mentioned. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.